we are making some chai tea. It is really good. I use Trader Joe's Spice Chai and I use Tazo's Organic Chai. I mix them and let them steep into this water here which is pretty much ready. So I'm going to put um, I can't even remember. I think I do four three or three each and it's really not bad and it comes out pretty concentrated because I have brought the concentrate before like this which tasted really good honestly but it's like two drinks because I have a lot of it in a tall Starbucks cup and two drinks versus you know having boxes of tea bags for a while it just makes no sense to make it myself so I'll show you in a bit I'm gonna get the pumpkin spice whipped cream from Whole Foods and I'm going to make an iced chai latte from scratch at home and then sprinkle a little bit of pumpkin spice on top from Simply Organic it's really good and it costs a fraction of the price of going to Starbucks all the time for one. Alright, so we're letting this steep and cool for a little bit while I head out to Whole Foods. I guess I will pick up a few things in dinner. Maybe we'll make dinner together. So we went to the grocery store and we allowed this to simmer for a good bit. I'm taking the tea bags out. I'll squeeze them just a little bit. It's cooled down a lot, which is good. Usually I can't wait and I end up pouring it into the bottle while it's still hot. If you have a pot with a spout, it's perfect because then Okay, so we put it into this glass container. This is actually a reusable um, glass milk container. It is huge, really heavy right now. I love using glass. It's healthier than plastic. Even BPA-free plastic kind of makes me not feel that great about what I'm using. So anyway, environmentally and all of that too, not just health-wise. This was a milk bottle. It's um, Obelweiss, I think, dairy. Great packaging to reuse. I don't really use milk, but I guess I got it at some point because I like using real milk for mac and cheese in certain dishes. So it's in there, and then when it's chilled, I'm going to just add some sewn organic vanilla oat milk and a little bit of pumpkin spice on top of on top of some whipped cream. So here's what I got at Whole Foods. I got pineapple and I was gonna try and pull out the whipped cream but it's buried under there. I got smooth moves organic um Senna tea, it's really good for like just keeping your bowel movements frequent and like letting you have a nice flat stomach or whatever if you eat a lot of junk. It's basically a laxative tea, but we kind of do that. I remember watching this YouTuber, she was Filipino and she said they do it weekly. Um, in the Caribbean, we tend to do that like a couple of times a month too. I got some little potatoes and I got some organic chamomile with lavender tea. I got two bags of onion rings. Okay. And I'm going to put that in the air fryer probably next. And I got some chicken. So I liked that about it. And it's a four. I picked up the one size, turned up the base powder. It's really nice and durable. I really liked that. I guess so I chose the Laneige, um, what is that? Lip balm. 
sleeping mask, and moisture cream. And with my 100 points, with my 100 points, I got the Josie Moran Whipped Oregon Oil Face Butter. I had some mail today. Thank you from Soul Sister Crystals. Oh, and there's an explanation of everything. Love it, love it, love it. All these pretty cards and a note. Dear Soul Sister, my beautiful one, thank you so much for supporting my business, me and my business. You have no idea how much it means to me. It brings me so much joy to know we have maintained our friendship and especially the way we met. There has always been something special about um, come on. it's got that look to it and oh it's all wrapped up so I'm going to have to just keep that part of my guess that was my birthday gift that time so I already got a birthday gift this year but I guess if you fill out the free survey in the store they're giving you birthday gifts so run get some I'm going to check these out later. I'm so excited and I'm going to keep supporting her. She's such an amazing person. I stopped the video thinking, where is my whipped cream? So I also got organic oat milk. I got this pumpkin spice whipped cream that I cannot wait to try with this and my chai tea, the oat milk. I picked up some lamb chop. And picked up rosemary, like fresh rosemary. I love that on potatoes or lamb. And salsa mix to put into my omelets because chopping up vegetables in the morning is just not that fun, is it? I also got the fajita mix for the chicken and some peppers and onion that I have in the fridge. My mother. My mom got me some seamless, some tea bags, so that is good to have. I do have seamless gel in the fridge for daily use. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have daily use for life. Anyway, I made my own seamless last time I got some Trini seamless, and it came out really good. Like, it takes the flavor of anything you put it in, so you could use it as like to thicken up food. It's like a gelatin type uh, texture consistency and yeah it's really good for you it's good for your lungs like it has a lot of benefits so look into making your own sea moss and preferably getting it from the Caribbean this food way forgive my dirty Oh my gosh, I'm stocking up on this whipped cream before it sells out and the season's over. It is so good. Mm. I need it a little colder though. I should have waited until the chai tea was a bit colder, but cheers! 
I hope you guys try it. Let me know on Instagram and in the comments how you like it. You guys, this is so good. It tastes just like the iced chai latte with pumpkin sauce and vanilla, cold foam, all of that. <laughs> it tastes so good. And that's literally all I put in it. You have to use the sewn creamer because that's what gives it like the vanilla or else if you use a different creamer you need vanilla extract mm. love the pumpkin spice whipped cream from whole foods mm. chef's kiss however you do it 